Hi, good evening. Good evening. Hi. How are you? I'm cold. Cold. <laughs> yes, maybe you need a cup of coffee. I have a cup tea. of tea. Mm -hmm. A cup of tea, yes. You are the tea lover. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I'm going to show you. I do have a cup of coffee. Oh. <laughs> Oops. I, I drink coffee, I don't sleep in two days. Really? It affects you at night. Mm -hmm. ah, I can From drink it. To night. You can continue oh. with the life. <laughs> life must go on. Okay. Wow. Yes, and you are in what city? Santa Tecla. In Santa Tecla, yes, Santa Tecla. It's a little bit cool. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Yes. It, you, people say that in the past it used to be really cold. Mm -hmm. it, was. it was. I worked for about four or five years in Santa Tecla. Yes, it was. And you felt the difference. Yes. Mm -hmm. And by that time, uh, they had already constructed the shopping centers, the shopping malls, uh, all this shopping area, you know, like mm -hmm. Via, Multiplaza, and all those. Mm -hmm. Yes. So people say that it had already changed. Mm -hmm. Welcome, everybody. How is it going? Great, great, good, happy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Some people like mm. <laughs> Concepcion. How are you? A little tired. A little bit tired. <laughs> yes, and it's just Wednesday. <laughs> it's Wednesday. just Wednesday. Yes, but. Hopefully, everything is going to get better, yes. Maybe tomorrow. Well, today it was raining a little bit as, as well here in San Salvador in the afternoon. But it's okay. A, a little bit cool, but it's better this way, not too hot. Nice. All right. Let's get to the point. The class today. What do we have today is our video conference number 17. Yesterday, I think I made a mistake, it was the 16th, right? So we're going to learn how to use there is and there are and quantifiers. Okay, quantifiers are words that uh, show quantity, like many, right, some, few and of course today is wednesday may the 25th of 2022 and this is what we're going to study the objective for this class is going to be that at the end of the session participants will be able to use their is and there are plus quantifier plus plus that's how you say plus okay <laughs> yes plus quantifiers and of course, this is the topic. Oh, we've missed this conversation from yesterday. So we're going to practice this conversation because it's the introduction for there is and there are. There is and there are are used to say hay. In español es tan corto como hay. Hay un banco cerca de mi casa. Then you say, oh, there is a bank near my house, right? Y el there are nos sirve para plurales. Por ejemplo, hay dos parques cerca de mi trabajo. There are two parks, yes, near my work. So, por eso nos sirve el there is y el there are. 
nosotras en español lo tenemos tan seguido como que hay una sola palabra. Es más, es just one single syllable word in Spanish. But in English, if you use there is for singular and there are for plural. Yes? Yes. Thumbs up. Good. Ajá, uh -huh. so more people joined already. Nice. Marcela, greet me. You got your computer today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Great. You didn't leave the computer at work. Not tonight. That's great. Well, let's have the attendance because this is something important we have to do at the beginning of the class. One minute is because I have a couple of accounts, Google accounts, so I need to get the right one. Yes, let me find my name. My name is Juan Blanca. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know, my mom chose my name. <laughs> she liked my name. So, you finished the platform unit three? Oh. <laughs> Not yet? Not yet. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> What's happening? We have to work on that platform. We need no. to. No, yes. unit three, three, yes. Ah, yes, of yes. course. Yes. Unit four, okay. we only started yesterday. Yes. Sir. That's fine, no problem. <laughs> You scare me. <laughs> I said, oh my God, she hasn't done any three. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Miss Norma, are you here already? Yes, hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How was your day? A little tired. A little tired. Yes. Okay. A lot of work. Yes, so much today. Uh, I'm finished. Um, oh my six o'clock. Oh my yes. god! And you start early. At yes. Seven. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow you can have a celebration. Tomorrow? Are you having a celebration tomorrow? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow. Surprise. <laughs> 26. No, what happened? Ah. 26 of May. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are going to celebrate tomorrow. Probably. Think about it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Miss Celia. Present. About your day, how was your day? Uh, fine. So so. <laughs> fine so so. <laughs> Too much work. Um. No, but it's tired because I work in my house, and <laughs> that's more difficult. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Nice. Okay. Claudia. Present. Wonderful day. Yes. Oh, nice. Rainy. It was rainy. It's true. Okay. Concepcion. Present. How are you? Fine. Everything good. <laughs> All right, Milagro. Okay. Hi. Nice. Mr. Ever, not here, right? No, here. Disappear. It is. It is more. It is, it is, it is. No, here, right? Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. All right, Joanna. Quería abrir el portón, sé que se lo llaman. Joanna, Joanna. Abrir. Abrir el portón, ¿Ah? Cuando viene así, no sé dónde la puse. Judith. 
not here. Carla. Oh my God. Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, oh, come on. <laughs> All right, Lizette. Amareles, not here. Marcela. Marcela Maria. Present. Of course. Mariana. Mariana, not here yet. Marina. Jansi. Present. Hi. Hi. Mirna. Present. Hello. Hello. Monica. Present. Hi, Monica. Tanya. Tanya, Tanya, Tanya. Not here, right? And Raquel. Is Raquel here? No, she's not. Okay. Good. Well, we are just few students today. That's all right. Ten. Ten is a good number. Okay. Well, as I was sharing the screen, let me see. Mm -hmm. My goodness. Some people are very noisy around here, so forgive them. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yes, it's more than that. We just finished the unit three, right? So we're gonna, we're started actually the unit four already. Let me see. Somewhere, 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 somewhere. Oh, gee, here we started yesterday, right? We started talking about addresses and in what? In place. In places, exactly. We describe a lot of places, right? Restaurant, mall, bank, school, park, church, so many places, okay? So, uh -huh. we studied this, we'd say the address of our work, the place where we work by using prepositions, right? We use prepositions of place. So this was the next topic that we have that we're studying. And of course, we completed this exercise, right? Yes, we did. We completed. Right. Uh huh. So now we start with the conversation. Yes. <laughs> okay. So this conversation is on page 41 for, for the ones that already have the manual. Okay. So it says, I will be able to ask and tell people the specific location of places and directions around in my place, my workplace. Uh, directions around is como los lugares que están en el área, cerca, right? Del lugar de trabajo. So you say, oh, there is a bank near my work. There is a shopping mall near my work, okay? near my yeah, my workplace, all right, oh, near my office. There is, um, well, in my case, there is a shopping mall near my, my workplace. There, well, there are many bus stops too. There are many restaurants too. Let's see what else. There are about two gas stations as well. And so I can describe what there is and what there are near my workplace, right? So you're going to ask, of course, this is the objective of the class, ask some classmates where their workplace is located. So the first thing we're going to do is to read the conversation. It says, listen to the teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. And we'll tell Stania, hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne Music? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. 
Obviously, él está preguntando por el Melbourne Building, porque no es de ahí. Uh -huh. So it says, hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne Building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? So, hay cuatro de esos edificios. For example, when, when you ask about a bank, y ese bank tiene más sucursales, usted puede decir, ah, hay cuatro de esos bancos, pero ¿cuál de esos necesita? Okay, so that's why Tanya says, don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. Ajá, una chica me dijo que fuera al building que está on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Se está sobre esta calle a su mano izquierda. Okay? So, um, I know. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Voy a preguntarle algo más. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building. Between Main and Kent Street. Hay muchos training center, okay, en ese building. Están entre Main and Kent Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay, so this is the conversation, of course, like little by little, trying to understand. Of course, there is and there are is used to locate places, okay? Obviously, you can also use it in your house. For example, you can say, oh, there are three rooms in my house, right? But in this case, we are using it to locate places in town or locate places in the city. Okay, one more time. Hello, can you help me? Where's the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks, I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and Kent Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Okay. Difficult. ¿Qué expresión de esta conversación se les hace difficult? Melbourne. Building? Melbourne. Okay. <laughs> Melbourne. <laughs> yes, es Melbourne. Como, como que sería, ah, la Torre Robles, por decir un nombre, ¿verdad? Por eso está así, como mayúscula ah, y el nombre de, del edificio. Sí. Uh -huh. So it's oh, la Torre Avante. Mm. Mm. So it's the name of the building. Mm. Uh -huh. What else? ¿Qué más? What I else? have some. I. I have some interviews there. Así es. Oh, I have some mm -hmm. interviews. Some interviews. Puede ser interviews or interviews. Como se lo quiera pronunciar. Interviews, it's okay if you want to say interviews or interviews. Acuérdense que los, los Americans siempre están como omitiendo la, 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 en la sonido la T. Yes, I have some interviews there. I have some interviews there. Yes, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Algo más? No more. No more. Vamos a escuchar a Marcela y Claudia. <laughs> ok, Marcela, you're Will. And Claudia, you are Tania. Ready? Ready. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl, a girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask 
ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Yay, good. <laughs> good job. Excellent. All right. Let me see. Nice. Good reactions. Okay, we're going to practice in pairs. We can practice the conversation. Podemos practicar tal cual está. Yes? Y después pueden cambiar los lugares. O si quieren dar direcciones como más reales. Yes? Obviously, ambas personas que estén practicando tienen que conocer la misma ciudad. Porque no voy a dar, si yo vivo aquí en Chalate y alguien vive en Santana y va a decir, no, the city hall is next to the park. Y tal vez allá en Santana, no, ¿verdad? So, maybe quedan alguien, I mean, dos personas que sean de la misma ciudad y eso sí puede coincidir. All right. Primero tal cual está. Después traten como de ir alternando, de irle eh, modificando, de irle incluyendo como ya datos más reales. All right. Ready? Ready. All right, here we go. ¿Y usted? Bien. Si quiere usted ser Tania, no, sea Will y yo soy Tania. Ok. Y después cambiamos. Ok. Hello, can you hear me? Where is the mobile building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? Alguien told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it is down the tree on the left side. Thanks. I had to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training center on the building between Maid and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay, so we'll be. Mm -hmm. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. To arrange for building, which one do you need? A girl told me, told me to go to building on Main Street. I know, I know it. It's some interview there. Thank you again. Bye bye. <laughs> Vaya ahora, Mónica. Vaya. Uh, hello, I can you help me? Where is the Melbourne um, building? Building. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Building, creo. Sí, build. Building. Building. I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on my street. I know it. I don't the uh, I don't the street on the, the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a um, training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between a main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. 
Ahora está de dos. <laughs> Ahora ya soy güey. Don't worry. There are for building which on the journey. A girl which told one? me which, which one, one do you need? need? Which mm -hmm. one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I I wait. It's I down the street on the left side. Thanks. <clears throat> I have to ask you something else. Is there the training center? There are a lot of training center on the building between May and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Bye bye. Vaya, hoy le tenemos que poner como crear una nueva Algo de nosotros. Ajá. Juin uh -huh. San Miguel. Yes. yes. Para, uh, para, but I know San Salvador. San Salvador. Yeah. Okay. San Salvador. San Miguel, gran distancia. <laughs> Podría decir, where is the multiplaza? Y dije, I don't live here. Ajá. Hello, can you uh, to, completo? Uh -huh. Vamos, mm -hmm. vale. Ah, pero es multiplaza. Multiplaza multicher o just multiplaza. If you already know multiplaza, you can say just multiplaza, or you can say oh. multiplaza mode. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. There are. ¿Qué está cerca de ahí? Me podría decir, hello, can you help me? Where is multiplaza? I don't live here. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, there are other malls. Why university? Mm, ah, sí, la UCA, ¿verdad? No. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> ya me voy a ubicar. <laughs> ya me voy. There are de UCA University, así. De, ah, no, quedémonos con el Dollar City Multiplus. <risa> Ajá, porque hay varios. Ah, ya les voy. Entonces sería, ¿where is the Dollar City Multiplus? Así. Ajá, ajá. Intentemos ah, ver cómo nos sale. <risa> Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne? Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one you do you need? A grid told me to go to the building. We Really on May Street. I know it. I know it. it's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you sometime else. Is there a training center? Center? There there are there are a lot of training center on the buildings in the building between May, May and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. <laughs> Ahora cambiamos. Eh, ok. 
Está Voy yo otra vez. Hello, can you help me? Where is the mill build building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I don't eat. It is down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something something else. Is there a training center? They are a lot of training centers. On the building, Bedwin, Bedwin May and King Street. I have some I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Is there are five uh, agricola bank buildings. Which do you need? A, a girl told me to go to a bank agricola building on Roosevelt Street. I Pero don't need. Need. No tendríamos que decir on Main Street Roosevelt. Main es principal. Ajá. Entonces sería on, es como en la calle principal. Entonces, oh, entonces sería... podemos decir on Street Roosevelt. No, on Roosevelt Street. Ah, ok, on Roosevelt Primero Street. Primero va el, el nombre y después sería como calle. Okay. Nosotros en español decimos la calle Roosevelt, pero en inglés es Roosevelt, Roosevelt. Street. Ajá. Okay. Se invierte, se invierte. Entonces, te interesa la pantalla mía. Es táctil, tanta tecnología me la bruma. <ríe> y de ahí sería: I know it's, uh, it's down the street on the left. I know it's, está en la calle en mano derecha entonces aquí está en... tiene que bajar la calle hacia la izquierda sería uh -huh, hacia uh -huh. la izquierda okay it's down the street on the left así es a la izquierda es aquí también vea sí left es izquierda ajá uh -huh. sí no que estoy ubicando en el banco ah. <laughs> I don't eat it's down the street on the left side y ahí thanks I have to ask you something else. Is there a, no sé, el otro tiene que ser otro lugar. Train center is place, um, other place. Veamos. Después del banco, y si está haciendo una entrevista, tendría que ir a las solvencias. <ríe> tendría ah, que sí. ser centro de gobierno. Center ¿Cómo sería gobierno? Ahí tenemos center training, pero sería centro de gobierno. What say centro de gobierno, teacher? It's, gobierno es government, pero creo que no lo tendríamos que traducir tan literal. Podría ser como las oficinas de los ministerios, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Government center. Podría ser government center. Traducida así literalmente, centro de gobierno, pero ¿qué hay en, en los centros de gobierno? Generalmente son como las oficinas oficiales, ¿verdad? O sea, de, del, del gobierno. Entonces podría ser como... Uh, the Ministry Offices. Voy. ¿Cómo dijo Office? Ministry Offices. Ah. Uh -huh. Training. ¿Qué es training? Training. En, training Center, en este caso, en la conversación, son como centros de entrenamiento. Mm. Uh -huh. ¿Qué miseria se nos fue? Se le fue la señal. <ríe> ¿Qué pasó? No me había fijado. Alón. Sí, primero se le congeló la pantalla y luego se salió. Ya, voy a, ya la voy a regresar si logré entrar acá. 
Ok, ok. Sí, por favor, porque ya habíamos puesto un buen lugar. <risa> sí, y ustedes conocen. No, 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 pero somos de San Miguel, así que funcionó. Pues, mm, Espérenme, solo antes que se vaya, me dijo office, office, ¿qué? Ministry Offices. Ministries. Ah, o sea, siempre voy a poner Main Street. No, Ministries, como la, las oficinas donde están los ministerios ah. de gobierno, como Ministerio de Salud, en lo que están las uh, Ministerio de Educación, Ministerio de Seguridad. Es que no sé cómo se escribe Ministry. Así digamos. tal cual, Ministry. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ministry Office. Offices. Ok. Gracias. All right. On the building. On the. Ahí on no the sería. Building, sería on the. Lower the Colón. Mall Lower the Colón. Mall Lower the Colón. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And. Eh, And. ¿Cómo dijimos de la calle Los Chorros? Los uh -huh. Chorros. Carretera Los Chorros. No. Eh, los, los Chorros Street. Street. Los Chorros Street. En Los Chorros Street. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, lo, lo último, sí. I have some interview there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Eso sí termina igual, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. Entonces... Podríamos decir que quedó como, hello, can you help me? Where is the, ¿cómo dijimos aquí en la perrita? Lourdes Colón. Lourdes Colón, ajá. Where is the Lourdes Colón? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are many factories. Which mm -hmm. one do you need? Ahí cuando le contesta a la chica que le dijo que la chica le había dicho. A girl. A girl no, to, to go to the on los chorros street. Los chorros in on the, the in one. Cuando es, vaya, yo entendí que cuando es on es cuando no es algo como así específico, pero cuando ya da una ciudad, por ejemplo, San Salvador. Place. Entonces okay. sería, which one do you need? Okay. Which one to place do you need? Ah, ¿cuál entrada tú necesitas? Sería. Ajá. 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 Which one enters to place? With why? Which one? One. Which one? Mm -hmm. Do you need? Enter, enters to place. Mm -hmm. Hola con la teacher. No problem. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Entonces, no quiero hablar en Gover Center. <laughs> Ajá, pero sería Office Ministry. Coffee. Oficinas del ministerio. Ok. Coffee. Sería que está cuatro. Pero que significa eh, building. Edificio. Edificio. Entonces podríamos. Okay. Eh, porque ahí le está diciendo que no se preocupe, que hay cuatro edificios. ¿Cuál es el que Ajá. necesita? Entonces, en nuestro caso sería como, no se preocupe, ahí hay... Es el hospital. El hospital... Ay, es que usted no es de San Salvador, sí. ¿verdad? Sí, pero sí conozco, está el Rosario. Ah, va. Ah, va. El Rosario. Ah. Sí. Va. Entonces podemos poner ese. 
No sé eh, si le parece. Espérame, espérame. Porque podemos decir que está a la par de, del Hospital Rosales. Ajá. Entonces, teacher, how do you say? Está a la par. It's next to. Next to the Rosales Hospital. Uh, mm -hmm. Entonces sería, don't worry. It's next to uh, Hospital Rosales, dijo. Yes, you can say mm -hmm. Rosales Hospital. No sale justo. No. Uh -huh. Ajá, ¿qué podríamos decir? Eh, entonces de ahí diríamos, which one do you need? Mm. ¿O no? Oh, no, porque ya le dijo que está la parte. Ah, ok. Sale. Va, pero me lo voy a copiar porque si no se me va a tirar. <ríe> sí, sí, va. Vaya, la primera vez lo vamos a ver. Hello. Can you help me? ¿Qué otra decisión? Este sería, where is, where is the... Ajá, eso lo que... Aunque no tenemos que... esa maña, ¿verdad? Que no nos conocemos. Ajá, exacto. Pero la quieren volver a ver, así que... I have, I have some interview there. Thank you again. <laughs> see you. Entonces, no. I see you. <risa> no me voy, bye bye. Ah, pues dejémosle ese. <risa> sí, ese mismo. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Bye, ah, pues dejémosle ese. <risa> Entonces, eh, ¿quién comienza diciendo? Vale, yo voy a comenzar a ver si anotamos bien. Hello. Can you help me? Where is the um, mall or the scholar? I don't live here. Don't worry. Uh, there are many factories. Uh, which one do you need? I get told me to go to the Los Chorros Street in Lourdes, Colón. I know it. I don't the street on the right right side. Thank you. I have to ask you something, something else. Something else. Ahí creo que quedaba igual, ¿verdad? Todo. Is there Is el encuentro mall? Ah, sí, aquí le dejé. Ajá, es el encuentro mall. Is there el encuentro mall? There are a lot of training center. No, nosotros decíamos there are a lot of el encuentro center on the mall, Lourdes Colón, and, and on Los Charles Street. I have some interview there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Hello, I can you help me? Where is the building? No, solo no. where Stadium. is the stadio? Estadio. Estadio. Blanca, Blanca o Mágico González, verdad? Uh -huh. um, I don't I don't la live here. Uh -huh. And Don't worry, is near here. <laughs> uh, which uh, enters do you need? Um, Because I think a stadium have two or four enters. Two enters. Two enters. No. Two enters. Oh, por Inay Avenue. Ah, okay. uh -huh. um, I don't know the name. <laughs> sí. Street. Las otras calles no me las puedo, pero sí tiene cuatro entradas porque creo que al público. Two or four. 
Ajá, al público tiene, creo que son dos o tres, creo, y una donde entran los de las. I only go in the front. 49. In the front, 49. In the, in the left for the concert. But I see other in the right side. Entonces, ¿cómo quedaría? Vaya, practiquémosla. <risa> Empiezo por... ¿Usted empezaría? No, usted. Ah, vaya. Ajá, eh, ajá. Y después sí. nos sonamos. Hello. Hello. Can you help me? Ay. Where is the dollar city in multiplaza? <risa> Sería. <risa> ajá. Don't worry, there are two dollar cities. Which one do you need? Uh, Gera told me to go to the food court. I know it. I know. I know it. It's near to Pops. <laughs> uh, whoa. Hmm? Vivimos cerca. Yes. ¿Lo practicamos de nuevo? Sí. Para que le escuche la teacher. <ríe> y que no nos pase. Ah, cabal. Bien. Yeah. Hello. Can you hear me? hear me? Where is the Agricola Bank building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are five bank, Agricola Bank buildings. Which one do you need? Allí told me to go to the building on Roosevelt Street. I don't eat. It's on the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a pollo campestre? There are a lot of pollo campestres on the Roosevelt Street. And in front of the Agricola Bands, there are one. There is one. I had some interviews to her. Thank you again. Bye bye. Teacher. Good job. Done. Ready. Okay, ready. Okay. <laughs> we almost finished. Yeah, we'll go to the main station. Lo debemos okay. practicar por. Ah, no, ya. All right, everybody's returning. Everybody's coming back. Okay, did you change the conversation for real places? Yes? Yes. Nice. Yes, yes. All right. Let's see, we're going to start with, <laughs> everybody's going to do it anyway, okay? So we start with Carla, Sofia, and who's your partner? Claudia. <laughs> Claudia, okay, go ahead. Comienzo yo. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, hello, can you see, can you help me? Uh, where is the Dollar City? Y multiplaza. Eh, I don't live here. Don't worry. There are two dollar cities. Which one do you need? Um, a girl told me to go to the food court. I know it. It's near to Pops. Thanks. I have to ask you some. Something else is the gas station. There is a gas station on Chiltipan Street uh, in front of La Gran Vía. Uh, I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> uh -huh. Some other participants 
are very vagas too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, now you live here, right? In Santa Tecla. That's why. Hmm. Next. Mariana, who was your partner? <laughs> One was just practicing. <laughs> Qué mal. My partner is Juan Escalante. I know. <laughs> Ready? Bueno, no tenemos mucho pelo. Bueno. I don't Action. Juan. Hola. Empiezo yo. Usted inicia. Sí. Ah, va. <laughs> Bye. Hello. Can you help me? Where is the park? Cuscatlan Park. I don't live here. Don't worry. There is the there is next to Rosa Hospital. Mm, a girl told me to go on Roosevelt Street. I know it. It is on Roosevelt Street, 25 Avenue Street. Um, thank you. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> No nos quedó tiempo de armarla bien. La segunda parte, so, yeah. it's okay. No problems, no worry. Pero sí, supo salvarla. Bye bye. Okay, let's see. Ajá, Jancy. Hi. Hi. Where's your partner? My partner is Celia Cotto. <laughs> Action. <laughs> Hello, can you hear me? Where is the Agricola Bank building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are five Agricola Bank buildings. Which one do you need? Agui told me to go to the building on the on Roosevelt Strip. I know it. It's on the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is to a pollo campestre? There are lots of pollo campestre on Roosevelt Street. In from the bank builder, is there a, there is one. I have some interviews to ask. Thank you again. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Nice, good job. All right. Who's missing? Uh huh. Milagro. Okay. Uh, my partner is Mirna and Monica. Mirna and Monica. Okay. Who are you going to practice with? With Mirna or with Monica? Que ellos decidan. <laughs> Your decision. Your decision. Mónica. Ok. <laughs> ok. Uh, hello. Can you help me? Um, where is the lower desk colon? Don't worry. The... There are from for mini factory. Mini factory. Um, which one do you need? <laughs> Monica. Hola. Vaya. A girl. No, no, no. Pero ya, ya me confundí. Ajá, era, <risa> don't worry. De decir la parte de, de ah, vaya, ajá. Madre. Don't worry. There are four, are many factory. And Which one do you need? Uh, a girl told me to go the, on Los Charros Street in Lower Descolón. 
just a minute. I know it's it's down the street on the right side. Thanks. I have to ask uh, you something else. Is there El Encuentro Mall? There are a lot of El Encuentro Mall on the Mall Lower de Colón and Los Chorros Street. I have I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> All right. Good try. Good try. Nice. Aha. Quien se nos ha salvado so far? Nadie. <laughs> Everybody participated. Mm -hmm. A quien no han escuchado, veamos. That's it. That's everybody. <laughs> All right. I think somebody is missing. Okay. Who's missing? Raise your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Raise your hand. That's it? Are you sure? All right. <laughs> We're, we don't have more conversations? No? No. No more. No more. Great. Well, the idea definitely, you know, to put this conversation into context, okay? Uh, one recommendation is like that all the time. When you learn something in English, tratar de ponerlo en contexto en el que nosotros vivimos, ¿verdad? Porque si no, no va a tener como aplicabilidad. O sea, el punto es que sepamos describir las cosas que nosotros vivimos. All right. Let's check. Oh, it's nine o'clock already. So before we go, let me just uh, check the attendance once again. I don't think many people incorporated. Let me just have a look. It was just, yes, Miss Norma, Celia, Claudia, Concepcion, Elsie, Milaro, Ever, Nahir, it is Nahir, Joanna, Nahir. Oh, what a <laughs> Judith and Amin, not here, right? Carla Sofia, yes. Lisette Amarilis, not here. Marcela is here. Mariana? Present. Hi. Okay, it's here. Hi. Marina is here. Mirna is here. Monica is here. Tania and Raquel are not here. All right. Okay, we do have an exercise about this conversation. Let me see, I think it's this one. Yes, after you practice the conversation, okay, about Melbourne building, there are three questions. Read the conversation again to answer the questions. How many Melbourne's buildings are there? Where is the building? where Will wants to go located. How many training centers are there? Where are they? So there are three questions, well, four questions, because in the number three, there are two questions, actually. How many? ¿Qué dijimos que significaba how many? ¿Cuántos? ¿Cuántos, exactly. How many Melbourne buildings are there? Mm -hmm. Four, four buildings. There are, uh -huh. there are exactly. Entonces, the answer para la question number one sería: There are four buildings. There are four buildings. Okay. Let's leave it acá para que se vea también la question. No. Oops. 
There are four buildings. Yes, there are four Melbourne buildings, right? Okay, number two. Where is the building where Will wants to go located? Mm -hmm. On the Main Street. Uh -huh. On Main Street. ¿A qué lado de la calle? Left side. Left side. Left side. Uh -huh. It's, you can contract, is on Main Street. On the left side. All right? Okay. Y la tercera question sería... What is the third question? Mm -hmm. How many, How many? Tra training centers are there? Okay. How many training centers are there? Uh -huh. Wait a second. How many training centers are there? The new video PDF. Ian, let me have it that way. Wait a second. How many training centers are there? Quantos? Training centers, I. There are a lot of training. There are a lot, a lot of training there centers. There are a lot of training centers. So, no dice un número específico, pero se dice que hay muchos, ¿verdad? So, we say there are a lot of training centers. There are a lot of training training centers, right? So that would be the answer for the question number three. Okay, perfect. Where are they? Where are they? Uh huh. Where are the training centers? In in the street. No. On the building between me on King Street. Exactly. So they are they are in the building between in the building or on the building. On the building could be Actually, in or on? No specific or oh, at. I, I, oh my God. <laughs> we yeah. have the three options now. In, 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 in is a, is a, yes, it's a, it's a not it's specific more, place. Yes, not a specific place. You're right. But let me see what sounds much better. Let me check the photo. Yes, it says uh, there are a lot of training centers on the building. They say on the building. So probably because of the building that is on that street. Mm -hmm. Let's leave it at on. Okay, on the building between. They say between Main and King Street, right? King Street. Mm -hmm. Main and King Street. All right, so that would be the answer. Okay. All right. Good. Is there any other question? No? Correct. Mm -hmm. So let's clear, let's clear all this. Okay, one second, please. It's because I think I have, oh no. Put this at the end, this slides. Uh-huh. Wait a minute.
All right. Let me go back to the PowerPoint. Please. So we just finished answering the question regarding this conversation, right? Uh-huh. The use of there is and there are. A ver, ¿para qué no sirve? Sorry. El there is y el there are. Creo que eso ya lo había mencionado al inicio, but it's okay. We're gonna repeat it, okay? ¿Cómo usar? How to use? ¿Cómo usar el there is and there are? Obviously, se puede usar para decir hay tal cosa o hay tal edificio o hay esto acá o esto allá. Pero en este contexto, obviamente, lo estamos usando para ubicar buildings, ¿verdad? Entonces decimos, how to use there is and there are plus quantifiers. ¿Qué son quantifiers? Son expresiones que denotan o describen una cantidad. En el caso de las cosas singulares, pues es uno. No podemos decir muchos, varios, nada de eso. Pero en el caso de los plurals, of course, we can say that. Entonces, en singular digo, there is. There is an ATM across the street. ¿Qué estoy diciendo acá? There is an ATM. Hay un cajero automático. Exactly. ATM, creo que, si se han fijado, en algunos cajeros tienen a cabal. ATM. ¿Qué significa ATM? Automatic, exactly, automatic transaction machine. Una máquina para hacer transacciones. Ok, automáticas, obviously. Mm -hmm. There is an ATM. ¿Por qué tenemos an acá? Porque ATM inicia con una vocal. Entonces, no puedo decir there is a ATM. Porque estaría repitiendo dos vocales. Entonces, that's why there's an ATM across the street. Continue. There is a recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. Aquí se dijo a. A or an significan uno. Yes? Por eso es singular. Por eso estamos usando there is. There is a recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. Okay, estoy diciendo que hay un centro de reclutamiento. En este caso es como un lugar donde están aplicando para algún empleo, ¿verdad? Por eso es un recruitment center. Están agarrando. Como la feria de, de, de empleo, podría ser. There is a recruitment center. Uh -huh. Luego te viene en forma negativa. There's no clothing factory around the corner. Que aquí es de forma negativa. Que no hay. No hay una clothing factory around the corner. Yes. Vamos bien. Como si, como sa. So, so. ¿Vamos bien con la parte del singular hasta ahorita? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's no. There's no. There's no. Mm -hmm. No hay, en ese caso, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, usted podría decir, there's not a hospital near my work. There's not a hospital near my house. No hay un hospital cerca de mi casa. No hay que una fábrica. No hay una farmacia, no sé. There's not a factory near my, my house. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to kick her. And she doesn't wake up. She's so crazy. All right, what about in plural? There are. There are a lot of companies down the street. Aquí estamos usando los quantifiers. A lot of significa muchos. 
¿ok? Obviamente estamos diciendo, hay muchas compañías sobre esta calle, pero a pesar de que decimos muchas, no estamos dando un número exacto. No estamos diciendo 20, 40, 50, sino que a lot. Varias, muchas, pero no sé la cantidad exacta. Si supiera la cantidad exacta, igual podría decir, there are 20 companies down the street. Yes? Por eso yes. estas palabras se llaman quantifiers. Son palabras que denotan una cantidad, quantifiers. pero algunos son non definites o no sabemos exactamente el número. Ok. Next, there are some supermarkets on the right and left side of the street. Que hay algunos supermercados al lado, al lado derecho y al lado izquierdo de la calle. O sea, en ambos lados de la calle, por decir algo. En Spanish. So there are some. Some ya son algunos. Ya no son muchos, pero algunos. Sí, no poquitos tampoco, pero sí. Algunos. Y luego también tenemos de forma negativa there are no hospitals on Barrier Street no hay hospitales on Barrier Street yes all right is there any question hay alguna question Uh -huh. eh, words, eh, where, eh, ¿Cuál es la diferencia there's no o there are no? Solo el are. Is or are. En la primera sesión no hay una no. factory de clothes. No hay una fábrica de, 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 de ropa o textil. Y entonces sesión no hay hospitales. Uh -huh. Singular o plural, eso es todo. Ok, thank you. All right. ¿Algo más? ¿Anything else? No. Sure not. <laughs> For sure not. Okay. I have a question. Yes, tell me. Uh, I like questions. Uh, <laughs> ¿Cómo se puede interpretar el down the street? Sobre esta calle. Eh, el down the street es como sobre la calle, o sea, de hecho, la calle que estoy mencionando, debo estar sobre esa calle. Ajá, o al final de la podría al ser final también de la, calle. la calle. Ah, ok. Sí. Pero debo estar ahí para estar hablando de esa calle. Okay. Ajá, es como, por ejemplo, todos reconocen la Juan Pablo II. Yes. ¿Es Salvador? Yes. Vale. Yes. O sea, este, este tendría que estar por lo menos en esa, en alguna de las aceras de esa, de esa avenida, porque si es Juan Pablo II Avenue, quiere decir down the street, sobre esta calle, down this avenue. Uh -huh. Pero a ver, ¿qué otra calle de San Salvador es muy conocida? Los próceres, los héroes. 25 Avenida Norte. Ajá, la 25 también es de la 49. Vaya, uh, pero por ejemplo, digamos que usted está ahí por el hospital Bloom. Y toda esa calle hasta llegar a Metro es Los Héroes. Entonces usted le pregunta que dónde están las oficinas de Hacienda, por decir algo. Las tres torres. Y usted dice, oh, es down the street. Es, es en esta calle. Por donde, obviamente, si va para allá no va a ir de retro, ¿verdad? Entonces, on the, on the right side. Okay. On the right side. Yes. Ok. Y, obviamente, si le pregunta, ah, ajá, y quiero ver qué más hay sobre eso. Hay un montón de cosas, realmente. Hay un, ah, un Dollar City ahora. Ahora hay un Dollar City everywhere. Okay. Los gas stations, two gas stations. Gas, there are two gas stations, actually, antes de llegar a, ajá. A donde hay una pizza restaurant, también ahí, just like in front of pizza restaurant, también hay un China Walk. Y después, donde era el mundo feliz. ¿Qué, qué creen que es ahora? There's a shopping center. 
<laughs> para la frustración de mucho. <laughs> so there's a shopping center and after the shopping center there is a hotel. ¿Qué sería el Intercontinental. Camino, oh yes, Intercontinental Hotel. Ya no hay camino real, pero ¿por qué le digo el camino real? <laughs> When I was young, <laughs> it used to be the camino real hotel. <laughs> oh my god. And I cross from o sea, justo al otro lado de la calle es Metro Centro. Metro. Uh -huh. The shopping. The shopping mall. Shopping right? Mall. Or the mall. Metro Centro. Oh, yeah, there is another gas station también, justo uh, donde eran antes los cebollines, que tampoco los cebollines ya <laughs> disappear. Ahí hay un KFC next to Sykes, el building de Sykes, y luego también hay un gas station. There's yeah. a gas station. Yes. Mariachi. All right. Oh yes, mariachi used to play. Y ahora que se fueron los abuelinos a ver quién se los mariachi. They went to. <laughs> Por el tiempo. Oh my God. Oh, también another hotel, another hotel, another restaurant that disappears, Pueblo Viejo. Yes. Estamos dando un update a las chicas de San Luis. <laughs> Todo eso desapareció. Sí, no, bien, bien frustrating. Ah, así se pasa la vida. Bueno, any other question? <laughs> <laughs> Cry, me va a salir de acá. No more questions? No. No. Bien, bien. Check, 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 double check, check, check. Ok. No more. Uh, let's see. Yes, it's the PDF. Vaya, con la explanation que acabamos de dar, vamos a resolver este exercise. There is, there are, or the quantifiers. Obviously, si tengo esta imagen también, igual se la voy a compartir para que lo puedan trabajar. Recuérdense, there is, a, or an. Hay un, o una, And there are, puede ser some, many, a lot. Ok. Vamos a, a rehacer los groups. Recreate. Vamos a ver de cuánto me quedan. Sí. Todos serían de three, solo uno de dos. Ok. There is. There is marketing presentation across the street in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> in the evening. Morning. morning. And number second, um, uh, uh, quantify uh, uh, sería a lot. There are a lot. Uh -huh. Sí. ¿Por qué? Porque está hablando en plural. Business workshops. Uh -huh. Solo que ahí aparece en paréntesis son. Oh, son, es verdad, sería Twitter son, no había visto. Entonces, y Twitter sería... son era, hay algunos, ajá, pues sí, hay algunos talleres de negocios sobre la calle. There are some. There are some. Uh -huh. There are some, number three. 
creating create center around there are no there there's no there's there's oh. no there's no cual pusieron there's no uh -huh. there, there there is singular or plural uh, and plural uh -huh. Uh -huh. The, Eh, yo digo que es de de dar pero con el negativo de dar no entonces sería de entonces sería de de dar no recruitment ajá center verdad Y la número dos sería entonces there are some. No. O iría hasta el final. No, son solo porque de no referencia. Estoy que son como es, Son centros de reclutamiento alrededor de. Sí. Ajá, pero te refieres que hay varios, entonces sería. Entonces, si te no quiere decir que lo vuelvan. La voy a dejar en libertad. Y por eso me está pegando. Solo quiero, quiero ver qué significa esta palabra. Edificio. Centro de reclutamiento alrededor de mi edificio. Yo pienso que eso sería este de Luis. Ajá, solo habla de un edificio. Este la número tres. Verifique, compañera Norma. No habla que hay varios edificios, no. Eh, bueno, yo... centers around my building. No, solo centro de reclutamiento. Alrededor de mi edificio. Ah, pero me la palabra centros. Sí, la palabra Creo centros. Que sería there are, porque quiere decir que hay varios alrededor de, de mi hay varios. Me pasó eso de que. Yes. Vaya. Number one. Vamos Yo. diciendo una y una. Ajá. Uh -huh. There is a marketing. Ajá. Uh -huh. Bueno, Dígalo. Continue. There is a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. Uh, there are business workshops. Down the street. Uh, there three? are no requirement centers around my building. Celia? Number four. Three. Ah, four. Four, four. Four. Sorry, mi internet hoy está algo malo. There is cuatro. There uh -huh. is not store on the corner of Google Street and Second Avenue. Uh, the five. There are some banks building the factory I work. There are some banks. There are some banks behind. Behind is behind. Um, B behind. Ah, sí. There is a garage building around the corner. <laughs> Vaya, primero quedaría. There is a marketing. Presentation the street in the morning. Uh -huh. La dos, there are some business workshops down the street. Uh -huh. La tres, there are no requests, requirement centers, requirement centers, uh -huh. requirement centers 
around my building. There are no, there are no, sería la crema. There are no. Mm -hmm. La cuatro, there's no a store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. 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 Second Avenue. Mm -hmm. Avenue. Eh, la sin, la, there are some banks behind the factory I work. I work. Y la última, there is an Aranza building around the corner. The corner. Wow. Y no sé lo demás, se va a hacer. Creo que es solo eso, solo eso no lo hay. ¿Lo ves? Sí. Complete. <laughs> Complete. Nice. Only. Uy, ¿qué le pasó a Marcia? Sí, sí. Es que ahorita está lloviendo. ¿Qué es mi Así. Llegó tarde, temporal. Yeah. Y aquí es como medio yo y va la luz. Me va la energía. Ay, uh, yes. Of course. <laughs> Así pasaba antes acá. Pero thank God, ya. They improve a little. No, pero one of these days, quiero ver. Yesterday fue toda la mañana luego el luz. All morning. No, no, no. And, and now, what do we do? What do we do? <laughs> yes, the internet estaba fallando, aunque fueran datos, because there was no electricity. It was oh, terrible. Yeah. But thank God we were in the office, so we tried to do something different. All right, let's return. Okay. Return. Hi. The rain Hi. is stopped in San Miguel. <laughs> <laughs> or not um, yet. It's raining. Yes. Finally, yes. <laughs> you missed the rain. <laughs> you needed the rain. Nice. Needed because it's hot. Too hot. Really hot. Mm. I don't know how I say húmedo. <laughs> humid. 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 Humid and hot. And hot. Mm -hmm. Well, yes. let's yes. see. Let's see the exercise. What we got from the exercise? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Can you see it? Yes? Yes. Perfect. All right, in the first one, what did you write? There is. There is. Yes, there is. there is. También lo podríamos contractar como there's. there's. ¿Cómo ustedes se sienten más cómodos? There yeah. is yeah. or there. there's. Ajá. There is or there's. ¿Qué creen que hace falta? Ah, ah. ah exactamente. Ah, yes. There's or there is a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. In the morning. Mm -hmm. Number two. There are some business workshops down the street. Uh -huh. There are some business shops business shops down the street. There are some business shops down the street. Yes, three. There are not. Mm -hmm. There are not. Right. There are no. No requirement centers. Mm -hmm. Requirement centers. There are no recruitment centers. Oh, Recruit. I don't see how it Recruit, recruitment centers around my building. In my building. No, I mean, no. recruitment center. All right, number four. 
There's no. There's no. There's no a storm. A storm. Or a storm. Or. There's no a storm. Mm -hmm. On the corner of Fruitsville Street and Second Avenue. All right, number five. There are lots. Lots. There are some banks, there are two banks, there are three banks, there are a lot of banks. Aquí cualquier quantifier podría ser. Pongamos tú. <laughs> oh, there are. There are two banks behind the factory I work. There are three banks. There are many banks. There are some banks. Yes, I cualquier podría aplicar. Siempre cuando sea un quantifier. Mm -hmm. Y aquí hay otro nombre, one. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> uh -huh. There is. There is. An. 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 Exactly. There is. An. Or there's. Ustedes there is. Quieren hacer la contraction. Obviously, la contraction solo se puede hacer con is. Con there are, no se puede contractar, pero no puede ser there are. It's impossible. <laughs> yes, there is an Aranza building around the corner. And, porque Aranza ya inicia con Bauer. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Perfect. ¿Hay alguna question? Is there any question? Um, Do we have any questions? Okay. Vayan, hagan my questions ustedes a mí usando is there or are there. ¿Cómo me preguntarían que si hay un banco cerca donde yo trabajo? Is there a bank near your work? O si me quisieran preguntar que si hay varios bancos cerca de donde yo trabajo, podría ser, are there many banks or a lot of banks or some banks near your work? Near, recuérdense, the near, far, wherever you are. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like like my, my participants in this class, some are near here, near San Salvador, and some others are far. In San Miguel. Is there. Is there or are there? Si usan is there, dicen a, o sea, uno. Si usan are there, pueden usar any or some or many. Yes? Ajá, ¿quién empieza? Who starts? Banks, gyms, shopping, malls, restaurants gas stations, universities, and mm -hmm. Blanca, is yes. there a uh, Wendy's, <laughs> Wendy's near a work? Is there a Wendy's restaurant near your work? Yes, there is a Wendy's <laughs> restaurant on Boulevard del Ejército. <laughs> I, I you. told you I work, I work two blocks away from Plaza Mundo. Inside of mm -hmm. uh -huh. What else? Is there a are is there, there a cafeteria in my in, company? In your company? Yes. Actually, there are two cafeterias in my company. There is one specifically for the for the foundation, and there is another one for the for the rest of the employees. Mm -hmm. Nice. What else? Curious, curious. <laughs> Curiosity. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Make more questions. Uh, there are. Are there restaurants? Yes, there are 
many restaurants in Plaza Mundo Mall. There are three food courts and there are a lot of other restaurants. There are many fast food restaurants in the food courts and there are some other restaurants like which one? Let's see. There is a there is a restaurant of Chinese food. I think it's the Celeste Imperio. And there is another restaurant of it's a steak or beef, I think it's called Cuyas. Mm. And there are many more. There are like two or three pizza huts, there are two or three Wendy's, there are two or three pollos camperos, or oh there is still one campestre as well on the food court. Mm -hmm. What is else? there a gym near to office? Yeah, there is a bit. bit. <laughs> ah, bit, bit. <laughs> yes, in the in the in the in the mall, there is a bit, bit in the mall, but I don't go. <laughs> I don't have time. <laughs> there are gas stations near at work. Yes, there are three, but two are closer, and the other one is. Uh, coming to La Matepec, there's another one. There's another gas station near La Matepec Hospital. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. La Matepec. Mm -hmm. What else? Yes. Are there hospitals? Yes, there is there's La Matepec Hospital, and there is, um, I think. The uh, no sé qué cuál de los dos queda más cerca, but there is the East Hospital of Ilopango on the way to on the boulevard, mm -hmm. uh -huh, near Carcel de Mujeres, near the jail of women. And the other hospital is in Soyapango, in it's más adentro que sería el Molina Hospital. Ilopango. Mm -hmm. But Molina Hospital is the Hospital Nacional, the National Hospital. All right. Nice. So this type of question, this este type of pregunta, vamos a hacer con el siguiente slide. I'm going to show it to you. Oh, here. You see? Obviously, aquí le ponen como más salsa, ¿verdad? Más spice. Okay. <laughs> Is there a laundromat in your neighborhood? Aquí preguntan por su vecindario, obviamente. There is, es la contract, I mean, there's is the contraction of there is, a bank on Main Street. Entonces, para hacer la question, tengo que anteponer el is, ¿verdad? Y digo, is there. Is there a bank on Main Street? Entonces, vamos a ver. Pasándonos en esta picture. Esta es como la, la nomenclatura o el nombre de la calle. Sería Main Street, ¿verdad? ¿Este chico qué necesita? Uh -huh. Laundry. Exactly, he needs to do the laundry. So, anda buscando un laundromat. Y le pregunta a la señora, Excuse me, is there a laundromat in this neighborhood? Yes. There's a laundromat on Main Street, acá, next to supermarket. a supermarket. Next to the supermarket. Yes. Si ubican la referencia de la Main Street y de los dos lugares. Yes. Bye. Voy a compartir esta lámina, pero también voy a compartir esta. Entonces, creo que todas son... No, Main Street, eso sería Main Street, eso sería Central Avenue, Central Avenue, State Street, State Street. Dos de cada una, ¿verdad? Entonces, usted le va a hacer la pregunta parecido a esta. Excuse me, is there a in this neighborhood? Y obviamente la respuesta, yes. There is a según lo que le haya preguntado, on, y dice el nombre de la calle, y puede dar de referencia a algo más. Por ejemplo, ajá, acá yo preguntaría por la drugstore, ¿verdad? 
Excuse me, is there a drugstore in this neighborhood? ¿Qué me tendrían que responder? Yes, there is a drugstore on Main Street. In front of the church. In the front church. of the church. Or across from. Cuando hay una calle de por medio, generalmente se suele decir across from. In front of, es que justo enfrente, pero no, no me divide nada. Yes? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna, voy a compartir ambas imágenes para que puedan tener la referencia de cómo preguntar y de cómo responder. Obviamente ustedes se alternan cuando he preguntado, luego respondo y así. Y luego pueden preguntar igual por lugares más reales en su trabajo o en su neighborhood. For example, is there a university near your work? No, there's not a university. La universidad más cercana estaría hasta la Don Bosco, and it's far away, and it's on Gold Street. Sería hasta la carretera de ahora. Yes? So, is there a hotel? No, there's not a hotel. Yes. Okay, let's see. Vamos a hacer nuevamente los groups. Sería la próxima vez que los hagamos. Recreate. Yes, there you go. Pregunta. Yes. ¿Ah? Sí, pregunte. Yo, vaya, bueno. Sería. Is there a drugstore on the Main Street? Main Street. No, sería, excuse me, is there a drugstore in this neighborhood? Y yo te contestaría, yes, there is a drugstore on the main streets across the shops. ¿Cómo se dice iglesia, teacher? How do you say iglesia? Church. Across church. from the church. Across from the church. The church. Church. Yes. yes. Yes, there's a laundromat on Main Street next to the supermarket. Bien. Ahora yo la no. Sí. Excuse me. Is there a laundromat in this no neighborhood? Neighborhood. 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 Yes. Tú eras laundromat en Main Street next to the supermarket. Bien. Ok, empecemos. Empezamos las preguntas. Ajá. No sé si ya mandó la otra imagen. Así ah, ya la mandó. Sí. Ah, ahorita. Drug store es farmacia. Uh -huh. Is there a drug, a drug store? Ok. Entonces ahí tendríamos que formularla. Yes. There's a clinic. There is a clinic on Main Street next to barbershop or between barbershop and bank. Bank. Nice style. Barbershop or bank. Stay medio. <laughs>
Main Street. Across the church. Um, ah, no, si sí sería siempre un mes. Mm -hmm. Next street, the supermarket. Pero allí en la, en la última donde dice supermarket, solo es un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Donde nosotros vamos a cambiar. No. No, eso eh, no lo vamos a cambiar. Sí, él se le va a cambiar según el contexto de la imagen. Ah, vale. Entonces Pero quitamos. La primera. Super. Ajá. La primera se podría ser, excuse me, is there a drugstore in this neighborhood? Entonces la respuesta podría ser, yes, there's drugstore or main street from church. Bien. Se me está preguntando acerca de... De la... ¿A dónde se encuentra? De la primera, ¿eh, Berta? Uh -huh. yeah. Entonces yo le voy a responder ahora. Uh -huh. Y en este caso le puedo dar otro ejemplo eh, acá en medio, en lo que era la palabra laundry. Ajá, esa la sustituiría. Ah, bien. Bueno. Yes, yes street a um, uh, post office on my street and next to the uh, book store. Permítame, next to. Como vamos a agregar dos, dos a la misma vez, ¿verdad? Creo. Dos lugares. Dos centros comerciales. Mm. Ah, sí, está bien. Sería junto, yo le dije post office, junto a Books Street, que están juntos. Eh, quizás están juntos sobre la, o enfrente, algo así, ¿verdad? From Chores. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Estarían juntos. Ah, bien. Bien. Este, si gusta haga otra pregunta, compañera. Right. Sería, excuse me, is there a uh -huh. clinic in this town, podría ser? Mm, bien. Bien. Le podemos cambiar direcciones, creo, podríamos cambiar las direcciones. Vale, permítame, que aquí tengo mis apuntes. Bien. Entonces le voy a responder yo. Yes, there are a department, espérame, vamos a ver. Your salon on May Street. Eh, en tu o oh, next to the station next Ajá, ayer ella sí dijo que se de... voy a decir next to ah, Ar... o oh, le pueden poner la avenida también yes there there's a department store is on central avenue Next to Next to Police Station Police Station 
Excuse me, is there a hair, hair salon, hair salon in hair this salon. neighborhood? Me. Yeah, yes. Mr. Okay. There's a uh, hair salon. Yes. Um. On Central Avenue. Yes. Yes, there is a real that yes. Yes, there's a hair oh, salon yeah. on Central Avenue uh, between Back Bakery. Pero sería there is or there are? There's a. Mm, there are. Solo no. la avenida. Yeah, verdad. Sí. Porque, Porque solo hay uno. Hay uno, verdad. There are uh, the there's hair, a hair salon, salon on Central Avenue yes, on, on Central Avenue. Um, no sé so si next to or between. Creo que por estación department store. Sí, pero para cambiarlo. Ah, vaya, pues. <laughs> yes, there is police station on Central Avenue. Uh, behind the, uh, behind, no, next to the department. Excuse me, there is a hair salon. Hair salon. Hair salon. Hair salon on Central Avenue. Yes, there is. Hair salon on Central Avenue next to the Berkshire Baker. Okay. And excuse me, is there a bookstore on State Street? Uh, yes, there is a bookstore in State Street uh, between Hellfield and Cafeteria. Excuse yeah. me, there is a office, post office or a State Street. Okay, next number one. five. Number six, number, number five. five. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Is 12 a store? Is there book store? Para decir a la par, ¿cómo sería? Next to. Ajá, next to. Igual que el anterior, entonces. Ajá. Yes. Solo que aquí va a tener. O no sé, como la dos. Between. No, o porque. No sé si ahí ah, se sí, podría sí. poner como que a la derecha. Eh, caf... O no sé, derecha, izquierda, depende cómo lo veamos. Cafetilla y a la izquierda, el. ¿Qué dice? El club. Oh, between. Between también. Uh -huh. Serían just. Tú eres a bookstore on State, State Street between cafetería and here club. Uh -huh. Yes, there is a book store. Um, eh, el next to o el behind? Between. between. Ah, between. Ajá. Uh -huh. Between Café Chugiria.
in el club de health club health club on a stay street on a stay street on a state street. Done. ¿Qué tal les fue? <laughs> How did it go? Easy. Eso. Easy peasy. Easy. <laughs> uh -huh. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. No questions. No questions. All right. Perfect. Veamos. ¿Quién le corresponde quedarse esta noche? Tonight. Miss. Mirna estuvo ayer, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes, yes. Mónica no está. Yes, Mónica is here. Well, Mónica is not here. Tanto que no veo a Mónica. She left. Bye. Ni modo. <laughs> gone, gone with the wind. Tania no está tampoco, ni Raquel. De los anteriores, alguien que esté que no hubiera pasado. No? No. Everybody? Everybody participated before? Yes, actually. Celia, Carla, Juan, Claudia, Elsie, Marina. Amarilis, what about you? Hi, Amarilis. No answer. Okay. <laughs> no answers, no problems. Okay. Alguien que necesite consultar algo que se quiera quedar? Volunteers? <laughs> <laughs> or just to have a conversation? <laughs> <laughs> no, Miss, I want to go. <laughs> de hecho, Mónica de la que dice, no, ya se fue. Gone. Gone with the wind. No. No oh, teacher. No problems. No problem. Okay. So good night. Good night. See hey, you good tomorrow. Night, See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.